I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Give double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Uh, peace, love, salutation to all the Akim out there preaching this word with all truth and sincerity. Uh, this lesson, I wanted to get some quick, a quick synopsis over uh, a certain king of the of Persia, of the Persian Mede. He was the founder, and it's King Cyrus. All right, I'm gonna give you some information on him, and this is this video is uh, specifically to uh, trigger, you know, questions and you know make y'all. Certain, you know, make you Akim want to research it more and get more edification on it. It's just like a base starting point of where you can start your research on them. All right, we're gonna go in. Uh, is King Cyrus the second? Um, they call him Cyrus the Great, and the Greeks called him Cyrus the Elder. We're gonna click on Wikipedia and just read a little bit about about it. He ruled, it says his reign was from, uh, there's so many different, okay, he said he lived from 600 BC, uh, 598 or 600 BC, so he reigned about from 539, I want to say, no, that's right here. 559 to 530 BC. Well, he ended his reign at 530 BC. All right. You can see the the places he took. He took over the Media Empire, Lydia, and the Babylonian Empire. And you can find all these, um, specifically the uh, Babylonian. You can find the transfer of power in the scriptures in second chronicles the 36 the 36 chapter all right under his rule the empire embraced all the previous civilized states of ancient of the ancient near east expanded vastly and eventually conquered most of the south west asia and much of central asia and the caucasus from the mediterranean sea um, Hellespont, Hellespont, if I'm pronouncing that right, in the west of the Indus River in the east. Cyrus the Great was created the largest empire in the world had yet seen. All right, that's a little something. I'm just going to go ahead and back it with the uh, scriptures real quick. And we're going to go to 2nd Chronicle 36. And we're going to start at 20. All right. Because, you know, you start at like, what, like 17 or whatnot. That was the takedown of Jerusalem. And that was, uh, that was after, if I'm pronouncing it right, the rule of Zedekiah the the king of uh of Jerusalem that time and you know you had Je Jehoiakim Jehoiachin Zedekiah you know and they didn't rule righteously so um the most high you can read in Jeremiah 25 and 9 specifically yeah let me get that before I go into this uh Jeremiah 25 yep 25 and 9 because those kings weren't ruling righteously in a righteous manner he he brought judgment on them and he used Nebuchadnezzar as his as his instrument of judgment, all right? Jeremiah 25 and 9. Behold, I will send and take all the families of the north, saith the Most High, or saith the Lord, Yahweh Shai, and Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, my servant, 
and will bring them against this land and against the inhabitants thereof and against all these nations round about and will utterly destroy them and make them an astonishment and a hissing and a perpetual desolations. And this was Jeremiah prophesying in the year of uh, Jehoiakim, uh, Jehoiakim's reign. Let's go back to Chronicles and we'll talk, go get back on topic about King Cyrus of Persia. And this is the transfer of power. All right. All right. So starting at 17 was the sack of Jerusalem. That was, a you know, which came to pass after Jeremiah had prophesied about it. It came to pass. And now Cyrus is coming up and it reads Second Chronicles 36 and 20. And them that had escaped from the sword carried he away to Babylon where they were servants to him and his sons until the reign of the kingdom of Persia. All right, here's the transfer of power. And them that had escaped, oh, it's a lot. Verse 21, to fulfill the word of Yahweh Shai by the mouth of Jeremiah, which I just read in Jeremiah 25, until the land had enjoyed her Sabbaths for as long as she lay desolate, she kept Sabbath because in Jeremiah 25 and 9, it said, it would, you know, he would bring someone from the north, Nebuchadnezzar, his servant, and it would be desolate. All right. To fulfill three score and ten years. Verse 22. Now in the year of Cyrus, king of Persia, the word of the Lord spoken by the mouth of Jeremiah might be accomplished. The Lord stirred up the spirit of Cyrus. Uh, the spirit of Cyrus, king of Persia, that he made a proclamation throughout all his kingdom and put it also in writing, saying, Thus said Cyrus, king of Persia, all the kingdoms of the earth have the Lord power of heaven given me, and he had charged me to build him a house in Jerusalem, which is in Judah, who is there among you, of all his people, the Lord, his power be with him and let him go up. All right. And when and then you you continue from 30, uh, second Chronicles 36 into Ezra, the first chapter, and it gives you more about Cyrus and you will find out that. And when you do research about him, it says that he had how, not sympathy but he gave a lot of mercy to uh, kingdoms that he um, he took down because um, typically, like he would he would spare the kings that he took over so he can get advice from those kings to know how to rule that certain provinces so the people will be all right. You know that's just how Cyrus ruled, and with that he let the Jews go back to Jerusalem and rebuild and rebuild the temple. And you can read about that in the book of Ezra. All right. I just wanted to get something real quick on King Cyrus of Persia and let it, um, let this be a foundation or a starting point to Achium to want to research more about the Persian Mede empire because what if somebody comes up during camp and wants to know about the Persian and Mede rule you have to know these things so with that I want to say Shalom give all praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai double honors to the apostles and elders a great millstone who rule well peace love salutation to the first fruit elect 144 Shalom